Alex, have you heard the news? The eSIMs are finally here, the new standard and form of technology. What do we even need a regular SIM card for at this point when eSIMs are here to stay? Really? You don't like SIM cards? I like having a little physical card I can just pop in my phone and be up and running. Not everything has to be virtual or in the cloud or whatever all the time. Alex, that feels really old fashioned of you to say it, but I'm not surprised. I think eSIMs are just part of the future. I'm already losing my SIM card just thinking about it. You know, you need the little pin, you gotta pull it out of your phone. It's this big, this big, this big. There's different sizes. They come in the mail. I've got maybe six or seven of them in a drawer. I don't even know who they belong to or what service provider they are. It just feels so prehistoric and in the Stone Age, needing a little tiny SIM card to put into your phone to make service happen when we could just do it electronically with an eSIM, am I right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's nice when they work, but of course not every phone supports it. It's really just the latest, you know, iPhones and Pixels that support it. Like a lot of brands of phones don't, older phones don't, a lot of the smaller carriers don't support it. So, you know, there's still a lot of times where, you know, the eSIM doesn't work for you. I still just don't get it, Alex. I'm gonna be real, storing those cards just feels like a mess to me when I could literally just download an app, make a phone call. Before I know it, I'm on a new service provider in an instant. I dropped my Pixel phone the other day. R. Concrete R. floor. All right, sh- yeah, Shattered the screen. I just ran to a, a used shop, picked up a used same model phone, standing there at the counter, popped the SIM from one, stuck it in the other. I was up and running. Took minutes. I didn't have to wait for anything. It was just so easy. But you're also on old, outdated phone at this point, too, am I right? Well, yeah. So then what about your old SIM card? I mean, do you just throw it away? It sounds like that's gotta be bad for the environment or something, right? I mean, you can't just expect me to keep this little piece this big of plastic somewhere in my life and expect to use it all the time. Yeah, well, if you're switching the same kind of phone, like iPhone to iPhone, Android to Android, they make it pretty easy these days to go from a physical SIM to an eSIM in the new phone. I do agree they need to really streamline the process of the switch though because apparently if things go wrong, you could end out with two phones, neither of which have service when trying to do the eSIM switch. So it sounds like you agree with me, Alex. Sounds like the eSIMs, the wave of the future, eSIMs are in, SIM cards are out. What are your final thoughts? Is that what I said? (laughs) Like and subscribe if you like eSIMs. And if you like physical SIMs, then you should subscribe and like.